Did you know that between 2015 and 2023, there was a staggering 5,000% increase in reported drone attacks worldwide? Or consider this. Are current anti-drone technologies truly effective when drones are becoming smaller, smarter, and more accessible to malicious actors every day? Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support, let's continue. In recent years, drones have played a pivotal role in modern warfare, with their ability to conduct precision strikes, gather intelligence, and disrupt enemy operations. For example, Ukraine-Russia conflict, 2022 to present, both sides have extensively utilized drones for reconnaissance and targeted attacks. Ukrainian forces have deployed Turkish-made Bayraktar TV-2 drones to destroy Russian armored vehicles and supply lines, while Russia has employed Iranian Shahed Kamikaze drones to strike Ukrainian energy infrastructure. Saudi Aramco attack, 2019. In one of the most high-profile incidents, Yemen's Houthi rebels used armed drones to attack Saudi Arabia's Abqaiq and Karay oil facilities. The strike caused massive fires, temporarily halving the kingdom's oil production and sending shockwaves through global energy markets. ISIS drone campaigns. During its peak, ISIS modified off-the-shelf commercial drones to drop explosives on coalition forces in Iraq and Syria. These small, low-cost systems proved difficult to detect and counter using traditional air defense measures. Beyond the battlefield, drones pose significant risks to civilian populations and critical infrastructure. Recent incidents highlight their potential for chaos. Heathrow Airport Incident, 2019, a suspected drone sighting near London's Gatwick Airport led to the temporary shutdown of one of Europe's busiest travel hubs, stranding over 140,000 passengers and causing widespread disruption. Venezuelan assassination attempt, 2018, two explosive-laden drones were reportedly used in an attempt to assassinate President Nicolas Maduro during a public event. Although the attack failed, it underscored how drones could be weaponized for high-profile targets. Nuclear facility breaches. In 2021, an unidentified drone briefly entered restricted airspace above France's Flamanville nuclear power plant. Such incidents raise fears about the vulnerability of sensitive sites like power plants, dams, and government buildings to drone-based threats. China has emerged as a global leader in the development of anti-drone technologies, employing a multi-layered approach to counter the growing threat posed by unmanned aerial systems UAS. These solutions range from electronic warfare tools and kinetic interceptors to cutting-edge AI-driven systems. Each technology addresses specific vulnerabilities associated with drones, ensuring comprehensive protection against both small commercial UAVs and larger military-grade drones. 1. Electronic Warfare Jamming and spoofing One of China's most widely deployed anti-drone strategies involves electronic warfare techniques such as signal jamming and GPS spoofing. These methods disrupt the communication links between drones and their operators or confuse their navigation systems. Signal Jamming By emitting powerful radio frequency signals, Chinese jamming systems can block the control frequencies used by drones, forcing them to either land or return to their point of origin. Systems like the Silent Hunter Laser Defense System are often paired with jamming capabilities to provide overlapping layers of defense. GPS Spoofing this technique manipulates the drone's GPS receiver, feeding it false location data. For example, China has demonstrated advanced spoofing technologies that can trick drones into thinking they are miles away from their actual position, causing them to crash or veer off course. These non-kinetic approaches are particularly effective against smaller drones reliant on remote control or pre-programmed GPS coordinates. They also minimize collateral damage compared to physical interception methods. 2. Kinetic Interceptors Lasers, Missiles, and Net Guns For situations where electronic warfare is insufficient, such as when dealing with autonomous drones not reliant on external communications, China employs kinetic interceptors designed to physically neutralize threats. High-Energy Lasers China has developed several directed energy weapons capable of destroying drones at short to medium ranges. The LW-30 Laser Weapon System, unveiled in 2018, 
can track and destroy low-flying drones within seconds using concentrated beams of energy. These systems are cost-effective for engaging swarms of inexpensive drones. Missile-based systems. Larger, higher-altitude drones may require more traditional missile-based defenses. China's HQ-series surface-to-air missiles have been adapted to target fast-moving UAVs. While more expensive than lasers, these systems offer greater range and destructive power. Net guns and drone-catching drones. In urban environments or scenarios requiring minimal collateral damage, China utilizes specialized net launching devices mounted on vehicles or carried by other drones. These, drone-catching drones, deploy nets to entangle and disable hostile UAVs mid-flight. 3. AI-Driven Solutions Autonomous Detection and Response Artificial intelligence plays a central role in enhancing the speed and accuracy of China's anti-drone operations. Advanced algorithms enable real-time detection, classification, and response to drone threats, even in complex environments. Drone Detection Networks China has integrated AI-powered radar, electro-optical sensors, and acoustic detectors into unified surveillance networks. These systems use machine learning to distinguish between harmless birds and potentially hostile drones, reducing false alarms. Autonomous counter-drone platforms. Some Chinese systems, such as the SkySaber platform, combine AI-driven targeting with automated firing mechanisms. Once a threat is identified, the system autonomously selects the best method of neutralization, whether through jamming, lasers, or projectiles. Swarm Defense Technologies To counter the rising threat of drone swarms, China is developing AI-enabled swarm versus swarm tactics. Defensive drone swarms equipped with AI can autonomously engage and neutralize incoming hostile drones, leveraging superior coordination and adaptability. 4. Integrated Command and Control Systems Recognizing that no single solution can address all drone threats, China emphasizes integration across its anti-drone arsenal. Its Integrated Air Defense System IADS, combines multiple technologies under a unified command structure, allowing operators to respond flexibly to evolving threats. For instance, a detected drone might first be engaged with jamming signals to disrupt its controls. If jamming fails, the system could switch to laser interception or deploy a missile for high-value targets. Simultaneously, AI analytics would assess the broader tactical situation, identifying potential launch sites or coordinating responses across multiple locations. This layered approach ensures redundancy and adaptability, making it harder for adversaries to exploit gaps in defenses. One of the most advanced and surprising anti-drone technologies developed by China is its high-energy laser weapon systems, particularly the LW-30 and Silent Hunter systems, which have demonstrated remarkable capabilities in recent years. These directed energy weapons represent a significant leap forward in countering drone threats, especially against swarms of small, agile UAVs that traditional air defense systems struggle to neutralize. The LW-30 laser weapon system, Unveiled at the Zhuhai Airshow in 2018, the LW-30 is a mobile, truck-mounted laser system designed to intercept drones, mortars, and other low-altitude threats. The system boasts an impressive engagement range of up to 25 kilometers (15.5 miles) and can destroy targets within seconds of detection. What makes the LW-30 particularly noteworthy is its ability to engage multiple targets in rapid succession, making it highly effective against drone swarms a growing concern in modern warfare. Recent demonstrations. In 2022, Chinese state media reported successful live fire tests where the LW-30 successfully intercepted multiple drones in midair, showcasing its precision and speed. The system's ability to track and destroy fast-moving, small drones with pinpoint accuracy has drawn comparisons to similar US systems like the Navy's Odin laser weapon. The Silent Hunter Laser System Another groundbreaking development is the Silent Hunter Laser System, which made headlines during its debut at the 2017 Abu Dhabi International Defense Exhibition. The Silent Hunter is a fiber laser system capable of targeting drones, light vehicles, and even small boats at ranges exceeding 4 kilometers miles. Precision and Speed The Silent Hunter is renowned for its ability to deliver precise, high-energy bursts that can disable or destroy drones almost instantaneously. During demonstrations, 
the system has been shown to cut through metal components of drones, rendering them inoperable within seconds. Mobility and versatility. The Silent Hunter is mounted on a highly mobile platform, allowing it to be rapidly deployed in urban environments or along border regions. It also integrates electronic warfare capabilities, enabling it to jam drone communications while simultaneously firing its laser. AI-powered drone swarms versus drone swarms. Perhaps the most surprising advancement in China's anti-drone arsenal is its focus on AI-driven counter-swarm technology. In recent years, China has demonstrated the ability to deploy defensive drone swarms equipped with AI algorithms to autonomously engage and neutralize hostile drone swarms. Recent news. In early 2023, Chinese defense contractors showcased a demonstration where a swarm of defensive drones was deployed to intercept and neutralize an incoming swarm of over 20 hostile drones. Using AI-powered coordination, the defensive swarm was able to identify, track, and neutralize multiple targets simultaneously, either by ramming them, deploying nets, or using small explosives to disable the enemy drones. Swarm-on-swarm -swarm warfare. This marks a significant evolution in anti-drone tactics, as traditional kinetic or electronic warfare methods often struggle to handle large numbers of drones operating in coordinated swarms. By leveraging AI, China's defensive swarms can adapt in real-time, outmaneuvering and overwhelming their adversaries. Quantum Radar A game-changing innovation. While still in the experimental phase, one of the most intriguing developments in China's anti-drone toolkit is the use of quantum radar technology. Traditional radar systems struggle to detect small, stealthy drones due to their limited size and low radar cross-section. However, quantum radar, leveraging the principles of quantum entanglement, could theoretically detect even the smallest drones with unparalleled accuracy. Recent developments. In 2022, Chinese researchers claimed to have made significant progress in developing quantum radar systems capable of detecting stealth aircraft and drones at long ranges. While not yet operational, this technology could revolutionize anti-drone defenses by providing early warning of incoming threats, regardless of their size or stealth capabilities. Chinese arms manufacturers joined global defense suppliers at the Middle East's largest military exhibition, showcasing their latest counter-unmanned aerial vehicle systems. The International Defense Exhibition, held this week in Abu Dhabi, highlighted the growing significance of drones in modern warfare and the urgent need for effective defenses against them. Among the Chinese exhibitors, Holly Technologies unveiled its Silent Hunter Laser Defense System, an export variant of the domestically developed Low Altitude Guardian. This system is reportedly the first to use lasers to neutralize small, slow-moving aerial targets flying at low altitudes. Meanwhile, China Precision Machinery Import-Export Corporation displayed miniature models of its comprehensive anti-UAV systems, including the FK-2000 Missile Gun Integrated Weapon System and the FK-3000 Air Defense System, both designed to counter a variety of drone threats. Timothy Heath a senior international defense researcher at the U.S.-based RAND Corporation, emphasized that drones have become a major factor on the modern battlefield, prompting many countries to bolster their defenses against these weapons. He noted that China's new anti-drone systems could attract significant interest, especially if Western nations like the U.S. impose restrictions on arms sales. However, he cautioned that while advanced defense systems can mitigate drone threats, the affordability and adaptability of drones make them difficult to counter entirely. The critical role of drones in regional conflicts was underscored by recent events in the Middle East. For instance, Israeli forces conducted a deadly drone strike in southern Lebanon earlier this week, following a ceasefire agreement with Hezbollah last November. Additionally, Iran has been expanding its drone capabilities, recently launching its first drone carrier warship, a converted container vessel capable of deploying drones, helicopters, and cruise missiles. Last April, Iran launched a large-scale aerial attack on Israel using over 120 ballistic missiles, 170 drones, and 30 cruise missiles, though most were intercepted before reaching Israeli territory. At the International Defense Exhibition, global defense giants also showcased their counter-drone solutions. Lockheed Martin and RTX, formerly Raytheon Technologies, presented advanced radar systems, the TPY-4 and Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor, LTAMDS, designed to detect unmanned aircraft systems, UAS. 
RTX also introduced the Coyote Block 2 kinetic effector, which can neutralize single drones or swarms at extended ranges and higher altitudes. Other notable displays included Israel Aerospace Industries Eli 4030 Drone Guard Gen 5, featuring eye based decision making tools for detecting, classifying, and intercepting UAVs. Deal Defense's Guardian, a ground based air defense system first unveiled at Isla Berlin Air Show. Hanwha Aerospace's multi layered CUAV system, described as a mobile solution tailored for urban environments and specialized areas. A Hanwha representative at the exhibition stated that anti drone systems are experiencing unprecedented demand, reflecting their pivotal role in modern defense strategies. Each company offers unique solutions, the official noted, emphasizing the need for diverse systems depending on operational environments. Scott Johnson, a lead analyst at Jane's, explained that CUAV systems are becoming increasingly versatile, serving roles beyond just countering drones, such as defending against rockets, artillery, mortars, and providing very short-range air defense. As the technology matures, it may expand into broader air defense and C4ISR, command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, missions. Wealthy nations facing high risks will likely adopt these systems first, integrating them into multi-layered air defense networks with built-in redundancies. However, challenges remain for China in exporting its systems to countries heavily reliant on US-made equipment. Johnson suggested that Beijing might find greater success in markets dominated by Russian defense exports. Heath echoed this sentiment, noting that while Middle Eastern countries are eager to enhance their defenses against drones, cost remains a barrier. Chinese-made options, being relatively affordable, could appeal to nations seeking budget-friendly alternatives, but only if they prove reliable and effective. China's cutting-edge anti-drone technologies represent a paradigm shift in how nations defend against unmanned threats. By integrating advanced electronics, directed energy, artificial intelligence, and emerging sciences like quantum mechanics, Beijing is positioning itself at the forefront of next-generation air defense. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's technology advancements and developments. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.